Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a major Wi-Fi firmware vulnerability. Yesterday, Apple released an emergency unexpected update for iOS, their mobile operating system. And this update fixed a problem with the Broadcom Wi-Fi firmware that they use on their phones. At the time, not much was known about the vulnerability other than it could allow uh, remote attackers to execute code. However, today, researchers from Google's Project Zero group released a whole bunch of technical detail about this flaw in the Broadcom Wi-Fi system on a chip of firmware. And basically, these all come down to a memory corruption vulnerability, specifically a stack buffer overflow. And they found that any attacker within wireless range could send specially crafted packets to these chips that would basically allow them to execute any code they wanted. So very, very dangerous vulnerabilities, not only because an attacker can exploit uh, remotely, but because they can exploit it wirelessly just by being within range of your phone. The research also highlights how widespread this issue is. It doesn't only affect iPhones and iOS devices, but it can affect any mobile or tablet device that happens to use this Broadcom Wi-Fi system on a chip. So long story short, if you're an Apple user, you want to get that uh, emergency iOS patch as soon as you can. Also, if you use any uh, Android tablet or mobile devices, you should be on the lookout for other vendors that might use this chip updating as well. It is a pretty significant vulnerability. In any case, if you want more detail on it, be sure to check out Google's a long blog post that goes into a lot of technical detail on how they found these vulnerabilities and how they work. By the way, you might notice I'm doing this video from a hotel. Uh, this week I'm traveling in Asia to attend partner conferences for WatchGuard, so I may not be able to do my videos as regularly as I usually do, but I'll try to get ones out as often as I can. Anyways, Interesting story, if you're an iOS user, patch immediately and be on the lookout for other Broadcom Wi-Fi updates. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.